back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, we kind of cut it off last time. I had a little bit of problem recording, but uh, we tried Ornstein and Smo before. Uh, don't worry, you guys didn't really miss much. We did get invaded though, so there is that. Uh, I'm sorry, I actually lost that footage. Let's kill this guy. Get ultra wreck. Oh wait, no, we have to be human. Fuck. Be back. Do 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 do. Now, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Solaire here help us in the fight. Just because reasons. I want to try doing the fight a certain way. You could kill the bosses either way. Usually the easiest way is to kill Smo first and then go after Orn. Uh, no, kill S Ornstein first and then go after Smo. Generally, uh, Smo is a little easier to dodge. And don't tell me we're gonna fuck this up already. Alright, come at me, bro. So, killing Ornstein is usually the easiest way, Smo is uh, generally easier to dodge. So nobody should be invading us at this time at night. Recording this like 3 a.m. We'll make our way around here. Dog in the background. Come on. Follow me. Alright, come on. It's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted, thank you. We have plenty of Vestas, so we're gonna take this pretty slow. We're gonna kill these guys. Just so we get, uh... We get the most benefit out of Soul Lair. Yeah, so Oh, that hurt. Okay, two hand this bitch. Oh, come on. So Lara, where are you going, son? Son bro. You know, Fucking up solar. Yeah, I forget what I said. We're just gonna rush this shit. Ornstein and Smo are gonna be a pain in the ass as is. Not to mention we're doing it the hard way. And we're also using the Black Ninja, the Black Leather set. We're still using the Mask of the Child just so we get that extra stamina regeneration. Block. 
Okay, come on. You know, I have yet to actually play this game as a caster. Been melee the whole way through. I've done strength builds, I've done dex builds. Never done a caster. Although, I guess I could uh, technically go into a pyromancer pretty well. Because uh, pyromancy actually uses dexterity as its main stat for some reason. The only thing I would actually need would be attunement, and attunement is the number of spells you could cast per day. Well, they're like spell slots to equip spells. guys up here. Alright, so jump off here. <laughs> okay. Just gonna rush to the fog gate and then uh, heal up right before we go in. Solaire, I believe in you. Through the power of video editing. As long as you keep both of them in your eyes, you could usually dodge most of their crap. Dodge the butt slam. That has a long reach. Super Ornstein. Now the key to actually fighting him is he has two attacks that will actually hit you. You gotta hug his nuts. Just go right in his fucking balls like you're a fucking tank in World of Warcraft. Just looking at boss crotch all day. Uh, so he's gonna do a butt slam just like Smo does that you have to actually run away from. Or you could, uh, he does like a backward slash, which all you have to do is roll into him. So we'll just hug his nuts. Luckily, he's focused on. Ooh, yeah. Oh, gotta run away! Oh, that hurt. Really hurts. 
You should actually roll into him for that. Otherwise, he can't really hit you. We kind of tried rolling around him, and that didn't really hurt. Okay. We're in good position, though. Can roll over that. Got him! And for our efforts of doing it the hard way, Solo Ornstein and the Leo Ring. Thanks, Solar. Alright, it's all opened up. By the way, I love the music during that fight. It's so grandiose and just amazing. Also, there's something I want to check before we go and uh, continue on with the story. Uh, for our efforts of actually killing Lotrek, we have over here... Lotrek's armor, the armor of favor. So we could go around looking like that fucking bastard that he is. Let's see if this says what I says. I think it says. <laughs> Alright. You guys ready? We have journeyed far and wide. For... So, we got our Lord Vessel from that, and we got a few bits of information. Now we know that, uh, essentially our quest is to succeed Lord Gwyn, who hurled himself into the first flame to extend the Age of Fire. So we are to fill the Lord Vessel with all the Lord Souls and extend the Age of Fire and end the Curse of the Undead. Now Guinevere, Gwyn's daughter, is telling us this, but not really. So, 
the light in Anor Londo is actually a lie. Let's level up. 40 ducks, woo! Do I want to throw in an attunement? Get one attunement slots. I kind of want to get up to two just because fucking power within is amazing. We can warp to Firelink Shrine. So, the light in Anorlando is actually an illusion. It's not real. Uh, when Wynn brought fire, the Age of Fire, to man, he uh, brought sunlight also. And that sunlight, ever since Gwyn uh, threw himself into the f first flame to extend the Age of Fire, it's been fading slowly. Uh, so his uh, son, Gwendolyn, actually has been upholding the rule of law in uh, Anne Orlando through illusions. He's been upholding this image of, oh no, the Age of Fire is still here, we're still in control, we're still like the gods of this world. But that's not really the case. We're gonna return the Firekeeper soul. It's the Firekeeper soul we got from killing Low Trek in the last part. Thank you. I'm Anastasia of the Storm. Now I can continue my duties again. But I only hope that my impure time is not a fair. Forgive me. My tongue never intended for us to touch you. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish you to speak. Okay, so she's a little weird. Uh... So we actually got her clothes when we actually uh, came back here after Lotrek killed her. So, oh yeah. Before we do that, I just want to do this really quick. A ring of favor and protection. The best bring, ring in the game. But it breaks if we remove it. Gives us more stamina, greater equipment load, a little more HP. So, don't take it off. It's really, really good. Still got a fast roll. Like I said, there's always uh, little details that are, uh, that are held in all the item descriptions. It is as though it is thought to have once been a white skirt of a maiden, but its true origin is lost in patches of blood. Perhaps its former wearer was maimed to prevent escape. We still have this guy. He's ugly, I don't want to talk to him. We have the Lord Vessel, so now we can technically just complete the game. We can go to the boss areas. Uh, they are now open to us after we uh, get the Lord Vessel and place it. But first... Tune Magic. Oh no, we need a Pyromancer Glove. Which we could get from this dude over here. Oh, she's gonna make it happen. Yeah. No, we don't find it on Savory. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A plane from the Great Swamp. Now, you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, right, let's get started right now. 
playing plus one. that good. Equip the flame. Can we do it in our offhand? Pyromancy flame. Power within is just amazing. When you really need to kill a motherfucker. Now we're gonna do a little bit of side questing. We are gonna... We're going to leave the bo final bosses to be final bosses, essentially. And we are going to go a little out of our way to get a little Easter egg during one of the boss fights. And uh, you'll be hit by the feels. You'll know when uh, we get there. First, we need to take a trip back to that old asylum place that we came from. We have the crow nest. Let's heal so we don't die. So how's you guys day going? Going all right? I'm curled up like a ball. Imagine just first time playing it, you have no idea what the fuck you're doing with this game. You're like, what the fuck? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? And then this happens. And we are back, baby. Now, there's a reason we're back here. Not a very good one, not a very well thought out one, but a reason. Hit. Fuck you, guy. Now, if you're the impatient type, and you don't know what you're doing here, don't walk through the center. Especially if you're low health like me right here. Go here. Light the bonfire. Look. No, don't level up. No reason to. Not yet. Hey guy. There we go. Steel protection. Alright. Boss time. has a very definite pattern. Try as much as you can to stay on its butt. Oop. Roll, roll, roll back. Ooh, we got bleed off on it. Uh, most sites actually have like a bleed buildup. And if, ooh, if you hit them enough, it build, they uh, pretty much just They just hemorrhage for a shit ton of damage. We got it there. Okay. You gotta avoid the big explosion. You can see when it's coming. 
And we rolled through that. Okay. Nope. Go for it. Got him. If you try coming in here earlier, ooh, and a Titanite slab, that is going to be so useful later. Uh, if you try coming here earlier, that thing will kick your ass. It has a different, definite pattern that you could uh, like really see which techs are going where. So. If you're good at dodging, you should actually be able to do it at a much lower level. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright. Black Knights have a little more HP, so two-handing our weapon. I blocked that. Fuck you. I'm gonna heal for good measure. Ooh, we got a Black Knight weapon. Too bad we don't have the strength to use it. And we're back in our cell from the beginning of the game. With a peculiar doll in it. And there's two more things I want to do and visit here before we uh, call it here. We're going to go back to see... We got a key... To uh, one of the gates that uh, we weren't able to open during the tutorial. And that'll give us a neat little item. Do -do 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 -do. And we have another Black Knight over here. First off, that was rude. Second, now I'm not human anymore. Whatever. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay, now this guy shouldn't wreck us. That was way too early. Come on. is so rude. Okay, come on. Bring it. Oh, we got another Black Knight sword. If you happen to get them so early in the game, they will carry you the rest of the game. They're really, really good. And Oscar's still there. Now, he's actually very powerful. So, come on.
Sorry, Oscar. You will be missed. Yeah, the traps reset. Some of you may have saw that I still had like power within. I didn't want to use it during that uh, boss fight just because it uh, it's more of an extended boss fight. It's not so much uh, I could just nuke them to death like some bosses I can. It's for those times when you really need to kill a motherfucker. Rusted Iron Ring, which is next to useless now because uh, there's two areas where it's useful pretty much anytime you're going through water and you would be slowed down and you also use it during the uh, the grand old uh, fucking light town swamp. So I didn't even want to fucking say the words, hate that place. So, we are actually going to just level up, and next time on Let's Play Dark Souls, we are going to be going to the Painted World. See you next time.